Welcome back everyone to Sporting Logically. Today we are talking about some NBA All-Star Game facts that you never knew were true. Number one, only three undrafted players have ever been named All-Stars. Going undrafted has never been an easy way to start off a successful NBA career. With so much time, energy, and resources going into the draft process, it is very rare for every NBA front office to miss on an all-star caliber player throughout the entire draft, but it has happened a select few times. The only three undrafted players in NBA history to be named an all-star are John Starks, Brad Miller, and Ben Wallace, with Wallace having arguably the most successful career of the three, and could possibly become the first undrafted player in the history of the league to become a Hall of Famer. Number two. Carl Malone is the only player to win the MVP and not have been selected to an All-Star team in the same season. That's right, in 1999, Carl Malone had a season worthy of winning the league MVP, but apparently that wasn't enough to be selected to the All-Star game. I'm sure many of you are thinking that something has to be wrong here, and you'd be right. The only reason Malone wasn't selected as an All-Star was because nobody was in 1999, as the All-Star game was canceled that season as a result of a league lockout. So if you look back on the careers of players such as Kobe Bryant, Kevin Garnett and Shaquille O'Neal and wonder why there's a gap in their consecutive All-Star selections in 1999, this would be why. Number three, since the league went to a two round draft format in 1989, only 17 second round picks have been named All-Stars. Although not as rare as going undrafted and going on to make the All-Star team, going from a second round pick to becoming an All-Star is no small task either. A handful of recent players have accomplished this rare feat, including Isaiah Thomas, Draymond Green, Paul Millsap, and Marcus All. The most recent member of this group comes from this year's All-Star team, as Goran Dragic being named an injury replacement this season brings the total up to the current number of 17. Number 4. Since the 1990 All-Star break, only 7 people have both played in and been a head coach in the All-Star game. This is quite the rare group because oftentimes star NBA players either choose not to become coaches or just aren't that good at it. It is much more common for former NBA role players or even non-NBA players altogether to become successful head coaches in the league. The only seven people since 1990 to have played in and been a head coach in the All-Star game are Lenny Wilkins, Doug Collins, Larry Bird, Isaiah Thomas, Doc Rivers, Paul Westfall, and Rudy Tomjanovich. Number five, since 2000, the highest paid player in the league for that season has never failed to be selected to an All-Star team. This one surprised me a bit because I would have thought that somewhere in the last 18 seasons, the highest paid player in the league would have had either injury woes or simply a down season that prevented them from being named to the All-Star team. But in reality, there wasn't that much variance in who the highest paid players in the league were in the last 18 years. Only Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Garnett, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, and Steph Curry have held that distinction since 2000. And in the years that they were at the top of the league salary list, they never failed to be selected to the All-Star game. Number six, from 1995 to 2013, there were seven number one overall picks that never did or still haven't made an all-star team in their careers. Just to be clear, I narrowed it down to these years because I wanted to give recent number one overall picks a few more years before giving them this distinction. Having said that, this group includes Joe Smith, Michael Olawakandi, Kwame Brown, Andrew Bogut, Andrea Bargnani, Greg Oden, and Anthony Bennett. Out of that list, Bogut and Bennett are really the only two even close to being on an NBA roster. Bogut as a free agent and Bennett as a current player in the G League. But I think it's safe to say that each of these former number one overall picks will have gone their entire careers without being selected to a single all-star game. And that is the end of the list. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to leave a like rating down below. And if you'd like to see more videos just like this, please be sure to subscribe as well. Thank you all so much, and I will see all of you guys next time.